tonight after federal agents raided it earlier today. According to those on the scene, it was operating illegally. Ted News reporter Mark Stewart joins us from the newsroom with this story. Mark? Ted, that radio station is 90.9 .9 FM. It goes by the call letters of KFAR. That stands for Knoxville First Amendment Radio. Tonight, the station is silent and the feds are listening. Is that to box our equipment up with? Because that is ours. We've spent five years trying to work to get this radio station together, and you're tearing it apart piece at a time. Officers from the U.S. Marshal's Office and the FCC pulled the plug on the renegade radio station. That used to be it right there. The transmitter, along with microphones and other electronic equipment, are now with the feds. It was one of our worst nightmares for the FCC to come and confiscate all of our equipment. According to the disc jockeys, the station is managed by volunteers and funded by donations. There are no commercials. The programs range from news broadcasts to bluegrass. It was heard primarily in South Knoxville and near the University of Tennessee campus. We use exceedingly clean equipment that has less power than a light bulb. We should be the bottom of their priority list. The station is located in a trailer in South Knoxville. It's known as the Pirate's Cove because it's home to an unauthorized station. Broadcasters know it as Pirate Radio. Supporters say community stations like KFAR are under attack by big broadcasters. They say corporate greed gets in the way, preventing the station from getting a license. It's supposed to belong to we the people, and our alternative was to exercise our First Amendment without a license or not to exercise our First Amendment at all. Despite the silence, these broadcasters hope they'll be heard again soon. The First Amendment in America is hard to get rid of, so if another radio station does pop up or they do begin broadcasting again, I wouldn't be surprised. As far as charges, the feds are not talking, but those on the scene say this is a civil case, so big fines could be a possibility. But, Ted, no one will be going to jail. All right, Mark, thank you very much. And East Knox County.